What's good you guys? This is Tejas, your email geek from Netco Solutions and today we are back with a video on sending domain selection and how it impacts your email program. So let's get started. Now before you start sending out emails to your customers, you should have a live website with some organic traffic on it which usually takes around 6 months. Now the users that are subscribed to your brand identify you with your website domain. So your primary domain should be your website domain which should be used for mailing purposes. For example, at the rate netco.com. Now good practice to follow will be to use your primary domain or a subdomain of it for sending out your email campaigns. Now subdomain is just an extension of your primary domain. For example, mail.netco.com. A subdomain, just like your primary domain, will have a neutral reputation with all your major ISPs when you're starting out your email process. So you will have to follow a certain warm up process to build up that reputation. Now subdomain should ideally be redirected to your live website so that an email recipient can verify if this points to your website. Now the question is, how do you select the right domain for sending out your promotional, transactional, company update or informational mailers? Now if you have an efficient email program, then you can use your primary domain firstly for sending out your transactional volumes. You can build reputation based on those transactional mailers and then start sending out your promotional emails, increasing your volume steadily. But if there is certain risk factor that is involved in your email program, then we suggest that you can use a subdomain of that primary domain to send out your promotional mails so that it does not damage the reputation of your primary domain. Now your primary domain's reputation might impact your subdomain reputation. But inversely, if your subdomain carries a bad reputation, then there is a very less probability that your main domain will get affected due to it. But on the other hand, if your subdomain carries bad reputation, the probability is less that it will impact your main domain. For example, here you can see the main domain is going through some inboxing challenges, where the spam percentage is high. Hence its subdomain will also go through some inboxing oscillations, as its reputation also got impacted as a result. Choosing the right domain will give you a good start to your email program. Please like, share our videos and subscribe to our channel Email Talk. Please check out our other videos that we make on all things email marketing and delivery. Thanks for watching and happy mailing.